What's up guys? Welcome back to Little Red Garage. Continuing working on the 1978 Dodge Warlock. Today we're going to be installing a new core support, a new radiator. Uh, I want to be able to have coolant in this engine when we start it for the first time. So I figure this is the next step. But uh, check this thing out. This is a new old stock never been mounted core support nos 1978 pretty pretty stoked on this unit uh, it's freshly painted you got the uh, satin black on the inside gloss on the rest uh, what makes this even more a little special is these bottom holes here this is a little red express specific core support this is for the the air duct for the snorkel system so it's pretty cool to have I had the I paid up a little bit for this thing but I got the opportunity and I had I just felt it was the perfect fit for this truck seeing as how I have the uh, I'm gonna be running air cleaner from a 78 Dodge Little Red Express I have all the ducting so it made perfect sense and uh, we're, you know, you don't see these every day. So I jumped on that. That's gonna be pretty cool. We're we'll mounting that to the truck. I also have uh, an aluminum radiator from Champion. Uh, we're gonna be taking that out, uh, taking a look at that. Hopefully getting that installed. Got the original shroud. But uh, first I gotta get this, I got my hardware here uh, sorted out. This is all the original hardware. Let's kind of see this is, this is uh, how it was yeah, it's in pretty bad shape so I've been took me a little time to kind of sort out all this source this stuff I got these new bushings the rubber bushings uh, off of eBay uh, this was probably the hardest part to find was this this little metal sleeve bushing here and uh, I ended up finding that on eBay too obviously I got to uh, make some cuts to that it's gonna be the first thing I'm gonna do here all new washers. I uh, upgraded to a half inch bolt just because it seems to uh, fit much nicer in there. Uh, better than the 7 16th bolt that was original. Uh, I got the original bolts to hold the radiator in, all restored. Some nice stainless hardware for the shroud. And we got some the original brass fittings I just cleaned up with the wire wheel uh, for the transmission lines. So the transmission lines are all in, they're run, they're all here ready. So hopefully this will all go together nice. So I'll get right into it. Bushings cut look pretty good. Um, got into my manual. We'll double check in uh, how this all goes back together. I think I got it figured out. I'll set you up on the tripod over here and let's try mounting this. support mounted up uh, went pretty good I mean it's only two bolts but you know the bushings that I made man they worked perfect they're perfect fit um, it's a rubber rubber mounts on it so it's gonna you know it's gonna need the inner fenders and fenders to really tie it in but uh, I'm gonna try let's pull this radiator out uh, aluminum three row from champion and let's check this thing out So it looks 
looks like a pretty nice unit. I, uh, I went ahead and installed the transmission fittings, transmission line fittings, put some thread sealing on them. Uh, there was a little fitting up here too that I put some thread sealing on that, made sure it was nice and tight. But it looks pretty nice. Hopefully it fits. I, uh, while I was researching these, these champion radiators, a lot of guys online saying I ordered the champion radiator for the Dodge truck and it doesn't fit. So, and what I had, I had noticed when I was looking at these online is that uh, I found this on eBay. What I found was a lot of the radiators listed for the Dodge trucks had, if you went in the description and looked, there was different measurements. And so what I did was I came, I measured my, my mounting holes uh, across, and it's about 28 and a half inches. And I did find one in the description that said 28 and a half inch uh, mounting locations. And uh, I just measured it again. I measured the truck again. It seems like it's gonna work. So uh, let's get this thing put in. I also wanted to point out this little, uh, this cutout here. Well, it's gonna help you install this. What you wanna do, get your lower radiator mounting bolt, put in there kind of halfway on both sides. And when you, you should be able to uh, slide that right over the bolt and it'll kind of hold it for you while you put the top ones in. Thought that was pretty cool. All right, so I was doing a quick little test fit here. Uh, got the one bolt started and we are off by about a quarter of an inch. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna oblong this holes a little bit on each side, just a touch. Um, I noticed it when I was trying to fit, slide it over this bolt down here that it was just off just a little bit um other than that it looks like it should fit pretty well uh the transmission lines i mean they line right up there right there we got enough room looks like for the uh, fan shroud so i'm gonna make a little minor adjustment to that and i'll uh, see if it fits any better quick little adjustment here it took out uh, about an eighth of an inch on each side uh, cut this slot a little wider so hopefully it'll slide right on there now tried not to hack it up too bad it's just aluminum so it cut pretty easy um, so let's see how it fits now Just a little minor adjustment there with the bolt holes. Uh, 
bolted right in fits really nice uh, shroud fits perfectly didn't have to do anything with that that fit on there really nice went ahead and uh, just tested my, my upper and lower radiator hoses those are on the uh, transmission lines bolted right in nice um, overall really really happy with this radiator and how it's fitting uh, you get to tell it was made for this truck I mean there is no interference anywhere it's really really nice uh, it looks like a pretty quality unit um, I'll put a link or I'll, uh, a part number uh, in here somewhere for you it was about $220 or something like that shipped um, like I said make sure you measure your mounting points here because there is a bunch of different radiators listed for this truck um, but I'll give you the part number for this one. This one fits pretty well. This was originally a big block truck. So this shroud is from a big block radiator, but this is for a little red. So this is a small block. I don't know if there was any difference. So I'm not sure why they have different size uh, radiator widths for these trucks. I don't know if they're, maybe these uh, brackets are different on some core supports. But anyways, I'll, Leave you the part number for that. Of course, I had to throw the uh, snorkels on. I mean, it's just too cool. I had to see that all come together. Uh, I ran into a little snag here. I don't know if you can tell, but the engine is cocked a little bit weird and I couldn't get the fan to come back in it was kind of touching down here on the shroud so I'm gonna have to play with that hopefully I can get the engine to kind of straighten it out a little bit I knew it looked a little off when uh, I was hoping that the fan would fit but I guess I gotta play with that some more unfortunately um, but that'll be a different day um, pretty happy with how this turned out and uh, hopefully that'll get us one step closer I can get some fluid in this and uh, I'll be able to mount the inner fenders now because they mount to the bottom of this right here and then I'll have somewhere for all the uh, all the electronics to bolt to where i'm gonna end this video guys appreciate you watching uh like subscribe if you haven't done that i'll catch you next time